but maybe it is. Ah. Nope, it wasn't. Um, you can see it was visible, but it <laughs> was messed up. Um, okay, now it's sort of got a hold of itself. Which was now. Nope, it didn't. Okay, um, maybe if we slided that over. Slid it over. Uh, some more. Okay. There we go. Um, it's still not really looking decent, though. I don't think this um, jet trail has got enough bulk to it, so um, go into wireframe view mode and select these middle things, everything but the tip. <laughs> Um, set the proportional fall off to smooth and scroll that inwards. Hit S, Shift, X, and do that. Let's see if that is any better. Okay, it's a little bit better, um, I think all in all it might just be a little too dense. So go to the, actually I'll name these dense, density, and fire. Sorry, my computer is starting to howl again. Uh, I actually just turned my computer upside down so it could radiate the heat generated from this render. Um, actually, that wasn't a render, was it? <laughs> um, go into the density texture. It has it within a density of 0.8, set it to a density of 0.5. Let's try and do that. Okay. Um, it's looking just a little better. I actually think that's been slid too far back. And. Well, that's slid too far forward. Let's try another render. Actually, while we're at it, go into the world settings and set their horizon color to be black. And actually, check stars. Actually, no, don't leave out the stars. Uh, okay, that did no good. Um, Set it back to be gray. Um, maybe if we made this lamp a sun lamp, it would be a little better. Um, let's see. let's try rendering this now. <clears throat> terrible. Kind of needs to hit the smoke straight on. Maybe the material is just too light. Made it almost black. Maybe that would be a little better. 
No, not at all. Um, hmm. I'm really not liking how this is turning out. In my test for this, it worked a lot better. should set the density influence all the way up to 1 rather than 0.5. Oh yeah, that's... I'm still not liking how smooth this is. I guess I should rotate that empty so that well, no, that didn't really help. Hmm. I'm sorry. This is messing up. Um, actually, the normals on this are too high. I can't stand high normals, so. Might just turn that down. Okay, um. This animation and everything worked so perfectly. Hmm. I guess it should be looking more front on. Actually helped a little bit. Yeah, I think that was the problem. And we need to take this empty and slide it forward because I'm not really liking how there's so much blue. Okay, that was too much. That wasn't enough. was a little too much. <laughs> and I need to move this out more. Um, that wasn't enough. You know, I might as well just go into these textures. There's the fire texture. Let's totally obliterate this blue texture. Let's make it all white. 100% white. My computer decided to go nuts again. And I need to move this back yet more. Okay. Looks looking a little better. So yeah, that's basically it for the jet trail. But if you wanted to render this out into an animation, well, here's how you could do it. Um... Actually, I uh, don't think I'll do the um, how to render out an animation tutorial all over again. But, uh, if you're curious, uh, go to BlenderGuru.com and Andrew Price did a tutorial on it. Um, But, yeah, now, our 
missile animation is playing through. Nicely. So yeah, that's about it for how you make a jet trail for a missile or a spaceship or something like that. Anyway, thanks for watching.